Good morning, everyone. I am so sorry for being late to my own party here. <laughs> we were having some major technical difficulties, but we're here now. That's all that matters, right? So how is everyone today? All right, let me catch up with chat here. Amanda, welcome in. Love your designs. You do very beautiful work. Can't wait to see. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Strong girl. Thank you for being here. Hi, Daniel. Hello, name I shall not say because I don't want to get de demonetized. Hi, Laura. Yeah, I'm so happy it's Friday. TGIF, right? See, my game is even taking like longer to load in <laughs> than normal. Does the audio in my voice sound okay? It probably, it should. I have like my microphone input up pretty high. Hi, Aldo. Hello, Gray, welcome. Okay, so first things first, it's time to check Scrooge's shop. It's the first thing I do every day. My game's kind of like lagging a little bit. Should I let it catch up? Okay, what do we got today? A lot of stuff I already have. Ooh, I don't have this. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for what we're gonna build today. Goodbye now. Doodaloo. Anything else good? Yesterday my shop was loaded. Some wall I've been getting a lot of good wallpapers. What did you guys have in the shop today? This is actually a really cute wall. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Uh, just so you know, I've got some new goods at the store. I don't have any of this. Oh, welcome in, Rady. Is that how you say your name? Glad you're here. Uh -huh. Welcome from Instagram. Welcome to YouTube. I think today we're just going to work on um, the theme park dream snap. I have not made one yet. So I might actually, since I'm here, I might need to buy some things. Oh, you know what? I'm broke. Am I broke? I'm kind of broke. I do have to collect some pumpkins. Hmm. We might be able to, to skim by a little bit. Let's see. want to make sure I have all the items I need for this build. Where is the blue filter? You know what? I think we can get by with what we have. Bye bye. Okay, so Scrooge wasn't like a complete waste of time today. Um, do we need anything in the star path for today's build? There's not really many theme park related items in here, but. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so. 
for the dream snap, I want to go to Eternity Isle. We're going to go to my house real quick. I'm desperate for new hair. I love the style you have. Scrooge never has it. Do you have just piles of coins around? I haven't bought everything, I think. Um, I don't have piles of coins around, but I've been playing since day one, so I have a lot of items, and it did take me, I don't think I got this hair until, like, six months into playing, so be patient. I've also been getting a lot of wallpaper. I wish furniture we have would not appear again and only new stuff. I feel that 100%, but then we wouldn't be able to share with friends. So I see like the good and bad of that. Some actually decent wallpapers, arched and oval windows, traditional desk where the items. Okay, nice. Good morning, Jenny. I wish the flowers, herbs, and wood didn't count to our item limit. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm 100% with you on that. Okay, so I'm thinking, where is the area I want to decorate? I think it's this area. Is it? Mm, I have to find it. Oh, it's. I think it's down here. Okay, so hear me out. I want to move my theme park to Eternity Isle because this view with the with this guy there, you know what I mean? I grew up like going to Disneyland in Florida and I remember we went to like this island and they had something like this. So like having this in the shot and then the theme park here. What do you, what is what do you think, chat? Do we think it's a good idea? I'm going to have to clean. I have not cleaned at all. I haven't actually, I can't even remember the last time I, I've been on Eternity Isle. But also, this piece of land right here, I feel like there is a lot that we can do with it. There's a lot of room to work with. And obviously I, my theme park is gonna be paved. So, yes, Typhoon Lagoon, yes. That's the place with um the wave pool, right? I might steal that idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. I mean, I'm here to give inspo. I do ask, though, if you, like, like, I do not care if anybody, like, copies, like, my designs and stuff. Just don't, like, claim them as your own on, like, Instagram or, like, Reddit. I've seen a couple people do that. Like, they actually, like, just copied, probably, like, watch my videos. And then they went over to Reddit and they're like, hey, look what I did. And I'm just like, wow, this looks familiar. And I don't think you came up with that. No credit of inspo or anything. But I mean, if you're just using my designs for your own valley, I literally do not care. But don't like try to get famous off of them. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Don't try to get attention. That's none of you in here, but I mean, Reddit is kind of a wild community anyway, right? Being like a small creator, it is kind of, you know, frustrating to see people like not credit you and like do something that was clearly inspired by you or, yeah, it's just a whole thing. So, I'm really excited for this dream snap. My, I tore down my, um, I put my theme park in the glade a while back and I tore that down. This is like some heavy duty cleaning we're doing right now.
Oh yeah, my outfit for the theme park. I love this outfit. Isn't it cute? So you no longer have the other park in the trust? No, I don't. I have other plans for the Glade of Trust. All right. I like the music on Eternity Isle. It's just like a really like nice, fresh, new audio track. You know what I mean? I'm hoping we can get to our storage room. If not, I might just stream again later because I really need to finish my storage room. But I have a feeling this theme park build is going to be really big. We might not even get to the star path. <laughs> we might have to prioritize the star path later. Okay, I think we're pretty much cleared. So I hope I have like pathing and stuff. I'm sure I do. Uh, but what pathing? So last time I did use the brick road. I feel like the brick road is just the best one that goes with it. I mean, I feel like the natural rock path could work, but let's try it. I just kind of want to make like, we're going to make it really simple. No, I don't like it. I don't like the look of this. Like, this is just something, it gives me, like, tropical vibes. I know we're in, we're in Eternity Isle. I mean, I guess it could work. Because it's like a cobblestone in the middle, right? Um, those ears are, I don't know, I got them in I either got them in Scrooge's shop or, hang on, let me exit out. Let me see what they're even called. They might have came in a chest or Scrooge's shop. I have controller drift on this controller, so bear with me. <laughs> Where are they? I think they're, they're the Dazzling Mickey Mouse Ears headband. That is what they're called. That's right. Have I'm you ever out. thought of doing a hot air balloon festival build? Oh, no, that's a great idea, though. I don't know what to do with my glade. I need inspo. Yeah. I was thinking doing mine where Rapunzel's house is and go up to the top tier where the red white capybara is found to take the shot. Nice. Yeah, I think the normal stone, like the brick, I think that's just going to look better, especially with like the color of like everything in the theme park. And that's why I chose it last time too. I just don't think it'll look good if it's like any other path, but this one. Okay, what kind of room do we have to work with here? I can't decide if I want it to be like, I definitely want it to come down here. Maybe we just pull it all the way. We definitely have enough.
This is kind of like a massive build to do on stream. <gasps> Trying to think. Yeah, because this angle is just like so good. And once they fix our camera, because you know we can't go down any further with the camera angle, the pictures will be even more cute. Yeah, this angle is so cool. I can't believe they put this here. All right, I'm going to zoom in and I don't like this either. Like, why do I have to hit cancel every time? Remember, we all we had to do is just click on the path and it would extend. They really, they really messed up with furniture mode this last patch. But I'm sure they'll, they'll fix it. They normally listen to us. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. Hey, Cozy Valkyrie, welcome in. Happy. What's cute for cottage core? I really love the leafy path for cottage core. I did get the up balloon. I bought it yesterday and I'm broke now. Like if that bakery comes, I might actually have to spend money in the game if I don't like do good on my dream snap. I'm like, I spent like, okay. Since the last update, I've spent over 20,000 moonstones. 20,000. I had them all saved up and then I just went crazy and I bought like the starlight bundle. I bought the, the ugly duckling tavern. It's been a wild ride. I can't believe I spent that much. All right, how are we gonna do this? I think we just, I want it to be symmetrical because my brain wants that, but it's not going to be. I think we just pull it down. We just make it fit where it can fit. I think we cover this entire area, honestly. I don't know, chat, what do you think? You have 900 moonstones currently? Oh gosh. Hi Karina, welcome. You've had an empty glade for a while. So the pink castle, I bet the pink castle looks really cute in there. Ooh, I really like the Wonderland inspired area idea. That's a good idea. I have no idea how we're gonna set this up, but we're just gonna kind of wing it and hope for the best and that we get a good score on our dream snaps. And another reason why I wanted to like redo my theme park, we need a, we need a fresh new look, first of all. And then of course, <laughs> the last three theme park submissions, I've just, it's like, I can't do anything else. It's just gonna be the same thing over and over. So like people are not gonna vote for it because they've seen it already. You know? Okay. Uh, 
I'm going to just try to fill this whole thing out because we can. This path is actually like taking me like a lot longer than normal, but that's okay. Also because the UI, like why do they have to mess with it? They did not need to mess with it. In reality, nobody's going to see, like, the edges and stuff, so. But we do need to extend this a bit. Oh, I only have 11? Dang, I really used all these up. All right, well, maybe we'll think of something else for the endurance. Just keep it jungle-like, I guess. Cause this is a this is literally a thousand pieces of the bordered path. That is what this looks like. That's kind of crazy to think about. It's a lot of stone. Yeah, the switch is not really a good system for this game, unfortunately. I think covering the whole area makes sense. Thanks, Daniel. You have nine hundred moonstones currently. Yeah, I'm pretty low too. So I also, ooh, look at the background here. That looks cool as well, but we're gonna stick with the original idea. There's some like really pretty views on Eternity Isle. Okay, let's get our theme park items out. Is there like a category for this, I wonder? I could have sworn there was like a category. Disney parks, yeah. What the? I just wanted all items. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to go through our entire item list. Search bar would be great. That's okay, we need to figure out what we're gonna use anyway. I don't think we're gonna make this like cottage core. This is gonna be like a really structured build. This could be cool, like right here. Mm. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. I'm just gonna go ahead and search up the theme park stuff. So I'm going to look up blue. That might be the easiest way to find everything. I've never used this fountain. Maybe we'll... No, why? Why does it do that? I mean, it could be cute. We could make this cute, right, chat? But why are some of these items, like, you can't place them on the pathing without them taking away the pathing? I don't understand some of this. I get that this game is like a big game, but I think we're all going to have complaints sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I need the Ferris wheel. I've never used these before either. We could do like a clock tower. Does this take away? Can I put this on the path without it? Okay, we can put this on the path. Oh, <gasps> wait, we need the castle. We definitely need the castle, too. But let me get... We're going to use that. I'm, like, getting ahead of myself here. Okay. 
Here we go. I definitely want the Ferris wheel. It just looks so good. I think this is one of my favorite items. We have lots of balloons that we can put down. This is the uh, white brick pathing Valkyrie. The dream snap tab, yeah. That's actually a really good idea. I probably should check that. It's still cute that way. Yeah, I agree, Sasha. But there's some items that like, there's some items that I'm just like, but why? Like, was it really necessary to like make it so that no matter what, you can't set that item on the path? Because it can still be cute, but we could have like an arcade in like one area or something. I've never built an arcade before. But I do want like a castle. I was thinking of making like a like a village and just doing like the park rides and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> this is so cute, the monster plushie. Oh yeah, I got the pile of socks. Oh yeah, the new fountain and the new Monsters Inc. attraction. Please tell me this fountain is not gonna take away. Okay. Yeah, and the air hockey table we just got. This could be like a cute little arcade area. How do we wanna do this though? Obviously, entrance is, like, around here. I'm just going to, like, pull these balloons down here for now. Because this is kind of like a one of those smaller details. I don't think we need the fountain in this area, so I'm just going to pull it over there. So the question is, should I put buildings into my new theme park? Because I think we could. Like, what about like adding the castle, Mickey and Minnie's? I came into this like thinking like, oh, we'll do a, a quick, cute little build, but no. Kiana, hello, welcome. I'm doing good, how are you? I like the backside of the Monsters, Inc. too. Yeah, I know. I like the colors. I even, I like it this way, like place this way more. Like, like this actual angle. So what if we did like, I have an idea. I kind of like the Ferris wheel like right behind it. What other like structured, where's my up balloon? I just got it. Yes, I, I like literally kicked myself for not buying this item sooner. Up like makes me ugly cry. I, I can watch that movie like once every five years and then I've like cried. I just, I just cry all the time. Oh yeah, Woody. I think I might need to actually take his house. Oh gosh, this is so hard. Oh 
Oh my gosh, my game is like freezing. palace though i feel like the palace is like perfect for this type of build we have to put it somewhere and i think that's like pretty much all we can do know how we're gonna do this i'm gonna play <laughs> i say that every time i'm streaming let's play with the items and see what we come up with I feel like we need houses. Or we don't need houses, we just need more attractions. Okay, I'm gonna take your everyone's advice. I'm gonna look at the... Okay, I can see this is kind of coming together. We're just gonna make it a lot more structured. What about like the road? What if we made a road in the middle to the castle. That sounds kind of cool. The backside of the Monsters Inc. attraction is supposed to represent the facade of Mike and Sully's to the rescue attraction at Disney. Oh, although thank you for that. Yes, I am using the brick road with border for this build. I can't handle up or the Lion King. Yeah, and guess what, you guys? I was um I was literally farming pumpkins and the game gave me another piece of the puzzle to Muf the Mufasa picture and I like all I like got teary eyed. Do you have the theme park stands with the Mickey ears? I put those in mine. Theme park stands? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah, Toontown vibes. Cherry, welcome in. Oh, you tore your theme park down, Kiana. I'm sorry. The Tower of Terror. You are a genius. Laura, you are a genius. I have yet to use the Tower of Terror. That's going to be perfect. Okay, so that is a pink item. I have to say, everyone, the Tower of Terror. I used to beg my parents to like go on the ride like twice in a row. Oh, yeah, we have to have the Mad Tea Party, of course. We'll add this to our little arcade collection. This could be cute for like a divider. Um, okay, where is the Tower of Terror? Right here. Okay, I'm running out of room here. Okay, so I think we keep like this idea. Actually, I wanted to see the other, oh yeah, the doors. That looks cute, yeah. I really like it this way. I'm gonna put that over there for now. We need to get like the main structure down. So I'm gonna take out all the small details. Okay, so what we could do I'm going to grab these if, if the game will let me. And I'm going to put them over here for now so we can get the main structure down. Maybe like an arcade entrance. I'll have to craft more pathing because we used over a thousand of the path just for this area. But for those of you that are coming in, I wanted to build a new theme park build and, and showcase this boat in it. Um, chat and I were talking about Typhoon Lagoon, how this reminds us of that. With the wave pool. 
Zig, welcome. So happy to see you here. Hi, Elle. I don't think you saw my message on the last stream, or I might have slept before you got a chance to, but does it bother you when people copy your valley designs even directly? It does not bother me. I'm here to inspire. If your valley looks exactly like mine, that is completely fine. The only thing that bothers me is when, like, other people copy it and then post it as their own and, like, don't credit me. Like, if you want to, like completely redo this whole theme park and be like, hey, this was inspired by Elle. You could copy it tile by tile as long as you like tag me for inspo. But a lot of people don't do that and they try to like take it as their own. I've seen it in like Facebook groups. I've seen it on Reddit. I even saw it on um, a larger channel. Um, and like I think it was when I first started YouTube. I saw my mini design showcased on a larger channel. They pulled the picture from Reddit. So I don't think the creator knew that I was like the original creator. Um, but I like that person like did not like quote me as inspo and it was pretty much inspired by me. So it was like frustrating to see that. But if you want to copy it just to like not post, I do not care. Copy. It's fine. Um, but yeah, if you're going to like post to like Reddit or something, I just think it would, it's a little bit disrespectful not to tag me as inspo. That's just my thoughts. You guys are allowed to disagree. That's fine. Okay. I feel like this could be back here. Do we have room to extend this? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my crafting table. Where is it? Right, I'll just place down a crafting table. And I we need to craft more brick road to fill out the area, I think. Um, tangled, right? I'm also patiently waiting for a, um, a search bar. We were talking about this last time too. Okay. So let's just put this over here and I move some of these trees and I'm going to save because I don't think we've saved yet. Oh, the drift on my controller is driving me crazy. So I do... Yeah, this is going to be problematic. We're going to have to move this over a little bit. I the music in Eternity Isle is just beautiful. See, look at this drift. We might need to make some fencing too. This is so cute, Playstown. Why can't we have like this little pergola in game? I would use it everywhere, literally everywhere. Okay. I know you guys hear me say it a lot um, in like every build, but patience is a virtue and take your time when building and you're allowed to like, not like what you build and adjust it. I copied your vineyard house and totally gave you credit. Good to know. Oh, thank you, Cozy Valkyrie. I appreciate that. Welcome in, Kamisha. Good morning. I have a couple of your inspo in my valley, like my forest. I love your videos and decorating, but I always add my own little things. Yeah, of course. 
that's so important to add like your own, you know, authentic piece of yourself into the builds. And if not, that's fine too. No one builds as credible as incredible as you. You deserve all the credit. Oh, Chelsea, thank you. I saw one person on Instagram who put their theme park in the meadow. And honestly, with all the new theme park stuff we've been getting, I may do the same. Yeah, the meadow is like such a hard area to decorate. I think the theme park could be cute there, but like the ponds, I just wanted like a more structured build, but I would love to see your creations. And yeah, search bar, please. <laughs> so much time. Did you customize that shirt you're wearing or was that bought in Scrooge's shop? It's bought in Scrooge's shop. Okay. We're playing, I'm gonna try to focus. So one thing we definitely need to do is move this over. I kind of want to put, what if we move the entrance a little bit? And we put, oh, I kind of like this over here though. All right, let's finish the path. I'm like getting like completely sidetracked. I gotta say like, I've really been enjoying streaming with everyone and like decorating with you guys. I feel like, sometimes I feel like I'm like not alone. I feel so alone sometimes when I'm decorating. I'm just like, oh, this is just me and my brain, but it's nice to have everyone here with me. And I have to be 100% honest, I didn't realize there's going to be so many of you this morning. <laughs> so thanks for being here. If you haven't um, liked the stream yet, do me a favor and like it. It really helps the channel out. Oh yeah, this could be like a cute little nook area. And I think we extend it over here, too. It's been so long since I've done a structured build like this, like a really structured one. Because for those of you that have been watching my videos, I'm normally like doing like cottagecore things like all the time. Okay, but like hear me out. What if we leave like this area, like the grass over here? but we do extend out over here. Can this go that way? Nope. I think we're pretty much close to the edge of everything except for down here. So let's adjust that. This is like kind of awkward. It only comes up to here. That's okay. I'm gonna remove this one and this one. And then we'll pull, we'll pull this. When was the last time any of you went to a theme park? I think the closest theme park to me is Cedar Point. Have any of you been to Cedar Point? When I lived in Utah, um, there was one in Iowa, or not Iowa. Um, there was, I don't think it was Utah. It might've been Utah. Maybe it was Arizona. I don't know. 
I never went to it, but I remember like looking up a theme park because I was like, I haven't been on a roller coaster in forever. Do we like roller coasters? Does anybody like absolutely hate them? I love roller coasters. The ponds do make it hard, especially the big one. Yeah, I agree. In grade school, I love hearing your thought process when decorating. Oh, thanks, Jenny. The big thing with the meadow is that it's too basic. You could really put any type of build there and it'd look nice. Yeah, I was thinking of doing cottage core something. I don't know yet. September, you went to WDW. What's that? I used to love Cedar Point when I was younger. So many fun roller coasters. Yeah, they the roller coasters kind of got um a little bit uh what's the word I'm looking for? They're kind of like old, so they like hurt when you ride them now. It almost feels like like the Mantis. This is probably aging me, but the Mantis, I love that ride and they actually took took it down because like people are hitting their heads on like the sides six flags and king's dominion okay cool i would like to go back to epcot and go drinking around the world halloween horror nights too Ooh, that sounds interesting last year for my 30th birthday i went to disney world for the first time we drove six hours all right okay yeah whenever my parents took me to disney world it is a 13 hour drive. I live, I'm not going to tell you guys like what state I live in, but I live in, I live in, um, the Northeast part of the United States. So I'm East coast now. Oh, your first time you went to Disney was last year. Awesome. Well, Disney world, Cedar point, Sandusky, Ohio, but that was in high school. Okay. No more heights for me. <laughs> I feel it. The Raptor used to give me a headache. Oh, I like the Raptor. I think Cedar Point is the closest for me too. I've never been to it. I'm not a huge roller coaster person, but I've only been in the area for two years. Okay, okay. Yeah, some roller coasters, they're just kind of old. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have the pathing down. Like this area right here is a little bit awkward. And the problem is I wanted to have like these two buildings across from each other, but like then we wouldn't be able to cross our bridge. So we're gonna have to improvise here. Okay, that's enough space over there. I'm just playing with, with some items here.
Okay, I think we need to move this over just a little smidge, but we still want to be able to access that mining node. I think that should be fine. I really like the idea of this like in the middle. Is there a back entrance to this? Let me check. No. Okay. Let's get back to our angle that we're going for. So unfortunately for the dream snap, we're not gonna be able to catch this in it, but when I post the picture, I can take a picture of this in furniture mode and capture this. Yeah, I think, I think for our entrance, we continue the little, we do like a little arcade entrance. I'm just gonna like put this stuff over here. So we have like our little balloon entrance. I was thinking like in the middle we could do like a clock tower. I'm just gonna like move these up here really quick. And it would be cute to like create a pond with like the clock tower, but that will affect our dream snap. So we can't do that. Gosh, I don't like the Tower of Terror at the back. I like it up close. Hang on, let me set this down here. I'm gonna leave some room. Let's make sure that this fits here. Okay, this could be like a really cute path, you know what I mean? And then I really like the up balloon, like, in this area. And we could, like, decorate with, like, oh, wait, it's kind of a big, yeah, I don't know if we can decorate around it. We could put something else there, but maybe the up balloon could be, like, in the background back here. Okay, we need other structures. Oh no, I have to get the, uh, yeah, I have to grab the elephant one, but there's just so much that we had placed down. I didn't want to like add any more until we like knew where we're decorating and like putting things. I think we move this back a little bit. I actually don't like this here. That covers the monsters ink. I think it might have to stay here for now anyway. Okay, so we can put this like right here. Now let's grab the other attractions. Um, I think that one is like red. Like you're actually telling me I can't go down and just like look at the Disney park stuff. That's all that it, it gives me.
Okay. Yeah, the benches. Oh, yes. We, I forgot about all this stuff. Okay. So we have this one. I'm not like a fan of this one, but I think it could look good on the left. Just like put it in the back or something. Can I still make it through there? I want to make sure that this build stays practical. Okay. Let's run around, make sure we can hit the mining nodes. This is so cool. Alright, we're good with this one. We do have a lot of space. We could make like a centerfold. And I think I can, yeah. Yeah, this is practical still. Make sure we can still fish. Okay. I think we're on the right track, everyone. I think we're getting there. Hmm. What if... No... The teacup ride in, like, the middle? Or do we do just like a huge like This is like bothering me right here. And that kind of blocks the path a little bit. Lily, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. We do need something right here. And I don't know what. Okay, hear me out. What if I go back to my original idea and I add some houses? Having room is a little bit problematic, but... I kind of wanted like um because you know like in in at disneyland and stuff they have like minis and mickey's house like what if we added those in here like that would be like really cute and like a road chat what do you think let me check i'm sorry i've been like i'm gonna like make sure i'm caught up on chat Jaws, welcome. Glad you're here. You made a Main Street type thing without them and with the Winter Palace. Oh, interesting. Okay. Bye, Zig. Have a, have a nice day at work. A racetrack? I already made a racetrack, though. I made, I made a racetrack for Vanellope's, but that is a good idea. Hi, I'm excited to see how your dream snap turns out. I just did mine. It's not as I had hoped, but I just didn't have any more energy. Um, yeah, I feel that. I hope you feel better. A fountain in the middle would be cute. Yes, I like that idea. 
Welcome, Yvette. Welcome. Where in your valley do you... Oh, that's not to me. Okay. Can you guys still see um, my screen? Because on my end, it's showing my starting soon screen. I don't know why. Okay, I need to focus. Maybe we need to put in the road. Michael, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. This build is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. I don't even have the bordered asphalt road. I kind of want to craft some and see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna like run around the build and we're gonna get a feel for how, where everything is set up. I mean, I feel like we also need to make a fence. In some areas anyway. I don't think we need like 300, but a good 150. We can always come back and make more if we absolutely need to. Okay, so we'll have to remove, let me just see what this looks like. I think this could work. All right, give me one second. I need to plug my phone in because it is about to die and I want to make sure I can still read chat and talk to everyone. One second. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so for a road, let's start removing some pathing. Sorry, my phone is like, it like died. So I'm just trying to like pull up YouTube to make sure I'm not ignoring anyone. You all, you, has anyone ever experienced that feeling where you're like, 
Oh my gosh, my phone's on 1%. Can I make it to the charger? I have like milliseconds to get to the charger. <laughs> Some houses in a road would be so cute. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We might even take out like some of the attractions. I want to keep in the Ferris wheel, um, but I want to see what this road looks like because I used all of the attractions last time. So like, what's the harm in trying something new? You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna take this out. Oh, I can't. I have to move it. Let me move it there. Like a mini house? Like Minnie's house or something? Like Minnie and Mickey, obviously. Like, they have to be here. If we put one, the other has to be. Maybe. Oh my gosh, my game froze. Who else? Let's see, let's like incorporate mini really quick and then we'll see how it goes. How do I want to do this? Do I want it like straight down the middle or do I want it like surrounding? It's questionable. Cause you know, Disney has like a huge road. Let's just try it. All right, let's see if we even like it. Oh gosh, the game is like really laggy right now for some reason. This is questionable. I've seen people like make it look cute, but like I really can't get past like this. Like if it just like fit perfectly in there, but like that green coming through, I'm not really sure I like that. But I do like the idea of like a different path to the palace, but maybe we could use the rug. I have an idea. Oops. I originally really wanted to do a boardwalk for this build, but like everyone's doing boardwalks. I want to be different. Has anybody made like a cute boardwalk? Like maybe I'll make one a different time. Welcome back, Rose. You, I used asphalt on mine and really like the way it looks. Okay. Toontown vibes, love the idea. Yeah, that's, I wanted to do, um, I think I'm probably gonna add in Goofy and 
maybe even Donald if he'll fit. I don't know if he will. It could. He might fit here. But I don't know. We've kind of like jumped around with like different ideas like back and forth. Um, I think what we do is move this here. And then we're going to keep Minnie there. Let me grab um, Goofy and Mickey's house. Now, my game's going to lag a little bit. I've noticed when you're grabbing the house from, like, um, your original valley. Okay. And then maybe if we can fit Donald's. This is like awkward. I don't think we can fit him here. I don't think he's gonna fit. Oh, he does fit here. Okay. This is still like a really awkward area, but we're gonna make it work. So, there's Donald. I say we do... Like, obviously, the, these two need to, like, be by each other. Let me just move this out of the way for a second. But I do want Goofy. We gotta have Goofy if we have everyone else. Yeah, and their houses are, like pretty like small so i feel like we could make this work we might have to move this I, i'm thinking Hmm. I'm really going to have to play with this because it's such an awkward area. I feel like I'm getting caught, really caught up in like the placement that we haven't even like gotten to decorating this. This is kind of a hard one. Um, let's do... Make sure that it's not blocking the bridge. Okay. Are these lined up? Okay. And I think we put this next to Minnie's. It looks nice. It just looks really nice next to her house. And I think we move this here. kind of want things to be a bit closer. We will need some space to walk through. My, my vision was to have, like, an actual, like, road and the, the houses, like, close together. I'm just, like, having trouble with, like, the different sizes, like, figuring out how to place that. So I'm thinking.
I think this is working. All right, let's take a look. Okay, yeah. And then, you know what? We might even move this a little bit back. I really like the look of this like back here. And we could even move minis up a little bit. All right, I'm going to get out of furniture mode, save, because we've done a lot. <laughs> yeah, like Main Street, yeah. I On the Switch, I could never find out how to set off fireworks. You mean on the... Um, do you mean on the snow castle? I think that's what it's called. Oh yes. Yes. Okay, this is this is really good. Cuz like imagine our dream our dream snap like right here. I'll have to move the arcade. Just moving this stuff over here for now. Will this fit anywhere? Oh my goodness, it does. Can we extend this? Yes, good. Good, good, good. I am going to have to craft so much more um, brick road after this build. I cannot believe we used up all of it. Pretty crazy. Okay, I want to check out that um, the clock tower in the middle and see if I even like it there. We could do a couple on both sides, I wonder. This feels good. Back on me. Scar is so annoying. <laughs> okay, I think we have the foundation done. Okay, so now we need to go into probably more of like the structure. Like, do we want to add fencing? Do we not want fencing? Do we just want like flowers? I think we want to do flowers, maybe a little bit of fencing here and there. Chat, what do you think? Oh, you're doing a boardwalk? Cool. Hey, Han. Welcome in. Um. I think we do need some trees, right? Maybe we should work on tree placement really quick. I 
I don't want to stick to the jungle look here, so I am going to use like normal trees. Okay, this is like a four by four. We could probably just take this path and shrink it. Oh yeah, we have Donald here. I completely forgot. He kind of has, like, a cool backyard, though. I mean, it's like an arcade. Well, it's going to be an arcade. And then maybe we could put, like, some plaza trees, like, along the road to the castle. After we're done with this. I kind of want a tree right here. Hang on. This tree is like perfect for this build, like the size of it. I think we just put this over here for now. Should we style our arcade just because it's like... Kind of a small area. That looks a little bit more organized. Okay, so I think we need to do some flowers. Wait, do I need any more trees? Like maybe one right here. I love trees. <laughs> really hard for me not to have a build without some type of like tree thing going on. Does that block anything? That kind of block. I don't really like that placement. We could just put like a bush there, I think, and maybe just move. I think we put trees over here.
Well, that's way too big. Wait a second. How do I get that little one again? There we go. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, now... Okay, this is looking so cute. I need to fill this area into... Like a... Okay. So now we need to do some florals to the main pathing. How are we doing? <laughs> hey, all, or, hi all, hi everyone. Hi Ash, welcome in. You don't need to apologize for being late. This is like an early morning stream, you know. I really didn't uh, didn't expect anyone to be here. I just kind of wanted to get this dream snap done. So, what are the actual items that we need for the dream snap? This is looking good. Um, dream snap. Oh, I need to put that new fountain in here somewhere, but, okay, why is it? Quirky and Disney is bonus, and then outdoor and lavish. Okay, so we have a lot already. I think we put the, the fout, we take this out or move it. Even like move it to like here or something. We might keep these balloons because I think those are like really cute. So where did I put that fountain? I might have just put it away, huh? Oh, here we go. So these are the items that we need to have out. I'm just going to throw things down and just see how we like how things are looking. Oh yeah, I did get the laugh canisters. We're going to move things, but <clears throat> I just want to get some of this stuff in here.
Okay, so a lot of these items actually work. Ariane, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Cozy Dreamlight Squad. Oh yeah, the alien thing. Forgot about this. Let's put this over here. Oh, everyone, I just have to show you guys this. There is two of these. I thought there was only the large Skellington bookshelf, which was the first one I got, but there's actually another one. And I just made my library too. <laughs> I might have to go back and like redesign some of it. What if we had like a little storage area somewhere? Would the lanterns work here? Mm, kind of. They kind of match, like, the tune statue. They're kind of dark, though. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> I think that's a little bit too much, but we could put it right here. I mean, we do do flowers, but I'm going to wait a second for that. Enjoy your lurk, Ash. Thank you. We got an actual Ferris wheel. I remember seeing someone asking for one, but never knew we got one. Um, It was part of the star path, I think. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, the bookcase looks amazing. I don't really think we need that. Wait. It goes under the fountain. Could we make this work? I'm just kind of playing. We'll see if we keep most of this stuff, but I definitely like running and walking through my designs to get a feel for it before I actually submit my dream snap too. We got to put the swan boat in here somewhere. So many items in this. So many items to choose from.
What about the tiles underneath the tune fountain? Do I have the tiles? Would these look better underneath it? Hang on. Oh, I did not mean to take that away. Ugh. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got the red, and I got all these new ice cream stands. I'm going to put them out. And I have the pink one, too. I'm just going to throw that there for now. I'm just throwing stuff down, and then we're going to go through and reorganize everything. That's too dark, I think, for the look we're going for. All right, let me grab the fountain back. I think I like <clears throat> these, uh, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Zircon tiles, I think I like those better underneath it. I like the blue. Where are they? Here they are. We might need to craft more. Can't center it. So we do this instead. All right, I'm going to go craft some more of these. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, this build is taking forever, but it's working. I hope we get a lot of points for our dream snap. I really need more moonstones, especially with, like, the newer items coming. Oh, Mickey's here. We're going to have to have Mickey in our dream snap. A hundred percent has to happen. My phone keeps turning off. 
Oh, my phone died. No. Okay, I am going to finish this, and then I'm going to put my iPad on because now I can't see chat. It's kind of like extended a little bit further on this side. So what if we did this? It doesn't exactly work. This is like a strange angle here. You can't really notice that there's like gaps missing. I'm like not a fan of these. I'm gonna take them out. We move this a little bit over so we have some room. This is looking really cute. Okay, let me grab my iPad. <laughs> Make sure I can like see what everyone's saying. Yeah, my phone completely died. So that's that's good. I guess like I never plugged I plugged it into my charger, but I actually never plugged the charger into the electrical port. So <laughs> That's great. I'm actually going to go plug that in right now. It'll take me a second. Because I don't know if, like, for those of you that are new to my channel, like, my PC is so old that if I click off the game for some reason... My controller does not register any longer in the game and I play with my controller so but so I can't even I can't even um, click off to on my dual monitors I can't even click off to see chat so okay what are we what are we thinking so far of the build? Just as I pull up chat. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Also, I wanted to know what um what new premium shop items are is everyone excited for? I'm really excited for the little bakery looking thing.
This is looking cute. We need flowers though. We definitely need flowers. Let me catch up on chat here. It's not loading, of course. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, this is actually such an inspiring build, especially as someone that has zero theme park items. The Main Street vibes are such a great idea. And now I'm excited to do this dream snap. Thanks for the inspo. Oh, I'm so happy. It's helpful, Brianna. Thank you. Hi, hi, Mi Miki. Is it Mickey or Mickey? Mickey or Mickey. And I love that cute little emoticon with the kit kitty in a box. I want to make one for my channel. That one's adorable. And my name is Elle. It's just Elle. But you could call me Ellie if you want. I don't really like it, but <laughs> welcome to the channel. Game like Gabriella. I'm so sad they didn't bring back the theme, pa theme park rides and the premium shop for this dream set. Yep, they'll probably bring them back in the next premium shop a refresh. <laughs> Sasha, you like it? Good. Joss, you like it? Okay, good. I need to look up what this bakery thing is. I'm sure I will want that. Yes, I absolutely have to have it. Okay. So, let's continue. I feel like we need... We need some space. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move Mickey's house a little bit more this way. And then I'm gonna put Goofy's house like right next to it. So we actually have like a pathway to walk to get to our arcade. And then what we can do is We're going to have to move the benches a bit. I wonder if we should add in fencing or if I should just do florals. I'm not really sure yet. I don't think those are aligned, are they? Oh, they are. Okay. Um... Maybe some of the plaza trees. I like never use, I never use the plaza trees, but I think this would, this would be like a good build for them. They can't go on the path. Are you kidding me? What is up with Disney not allowing us to put certain things on the path? Does the smaller one work? Okay, the smaller one does. <laughs> Okay. Is this practical over here? Yeah. I mean, we can still make it through, but it does it just doesn't look that great. All right. So maybe like a little food courtyard or something here, and then we can go in and decorate with our flowers.
I kind of wanted that this thing over here. And like a picnic table. Picnic table, where are you? Like the white one would be really cute here. Gosh, I just wish we could search. It's just like a whole thing. I hope I didn't pass it. What is it under? Isn't it under like, um... Catherine, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Isn't it under, um... I thought it was under Lilo and Stitch. Oh, there's the pink ice cream stand. Yeah, here it is. Okay, I think we have all of the ice cream things out. Obviously we put the pink one by Minnie. Okay, that's good for now. And then we can go back through and put like bushes, foliage, um, and flowers. So I'm going to do the flowers right now. We might add other items in too, but let's work on the flowers for now. Okay, so the tiles... Oh, man. I don't know if I like the tiles anymore because you can't put flowers on them. We might remove these. I'll use them in a different build. I do have some ideas for these, but I just don't think they're... Like, they look cute, but I really want to make sure that we're, we can put stuff on top of them for this specific build. There's none underneath there, right? Okay. Okay, so for Minnie's house, we're going to do these pink ones. And I think we can even do these pink ones right here. And behind. We might need to find something to put here, but we'll think about that later. Let's just focus on decorating, like, the main area. Do I put a bench here, though? What other seating areas do I have? Or seating items? I like this better. Okay. I kind of want to fence this area off. Sorry, I'm like all over the place right now, but that's okay. We might put more food stuff. Like, we'll make this, like, the food court. Like, maybe more picnic tables and stuff. 
Let's see if, if the fence even works here. What fence is the question? It's not even. Okay. That's looking cute. So we have like popcorn in there. I have the meal guy. This guy over here. Okay, flowers. I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so let's do... I really think these would look cute. So what if we did... Put down a couple of these. Adorable. It ma these this flower matches this flower rectangle matches this fountain perfectly. And then we could do some bushes, I think. Or would this look cute too? Uh we can't get them that close. Probably like right here. This could work. But then we can add in um some of the birch bushes. Uh, I want the small ones. We might have to move these balloons a little bit. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of like obsessed with this fountain. It's so cute. Look at, look at her little watering, her little watering can. He's like lifting her up. That is so adorable. All right, chat, what's going on? I haven't been paying attention. I'm excited for the returning star path items because I only had the very first ones and this latest one. Yeah, yeah. I hope that they bring back a lot for everyone. Um, this is the promenade on Eternity Isle. Wow, everything is coming along so beautifully. Thank you, Rady. I'm so happy that you like it. I think florals over fencing, definitely more of a Disney vibe that way. Yes, Brianna, you're right. Hey, Henry, welcome in. Hi, Elle, just subscribed last night and you're awesome. Glad to be here and it looks great so far. Thank you, Royal. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the cozy dreamlike clan. <laughs> Amanda, super cute. Glad you like it. Thanks you make shop. I'm so late, so I'm starting from the beginning, but I'm here. Oh, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Lorelai. Welcome in. Okay, let's get back to decorating. Okay, so more florals. Or maybe we could do bushes. This works. I mean, I think, I don't think we can like put anything over here. Like the area of effect for this is just so big. So we can't really put a lot.
I wonder if we can't remove like maybe put like a I don't know okay I think we save and like run through it and just see how we feel so far at least Oh no. The drift on my controller. I'm going to have to throw this one out. Just is not my friend. I I drop my controller a lot cuz I'm clumsy. Like I'm I'm actually like really clumsy. This is so cute. Wait, I want to move these trees. Now that I'm actually looking. I think we put like one here. And then we'll just put that there for now. Because I want to I want to be able to see and interact with this. We do need to talk about this fountain and how pretty it is. The colors in it, I think Disney did such a good job. Okay, I'm seeing like a small detail that could be filled right here. Hopefully we have room to put a small little birch bush here. No, nothing can go there, okay. Oh, it's part of Minnie's house that's like not working. Okay. Mm, I kind of like this being up in the front. No, I did not mean to do that. That looks better. I kind of want another one of these. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to Scrooge's and we're gonna order more of these little canisters. Just gonna go detail by detail. Which way to Scrooge's? <laughs> Hopefully this way. I always get lost on Eternity Isle. And my aisle is like so messy, so I apologize. I think living here is a marvelous opportunity. I'm making my theme park on Dazzle Beach. Yeah, I keep seeing everyone make making piers, which is like really cute. I was originally going to do a pier, but I didn't want mine to look like everyone else's. Okay, let's see. Um, it's under yellow. Do we need anything else? So many new, I've gotten so many, uh, the other day I got actually a good haul at Scrooge's shop and that's like the first day since the update that I actually got something good. Bye bye now.
This is adorable. I think we need like some butterfly flowers, but let's put the canisters down first. Can we fit another one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so butterfly flowers, <clears throat> excuse me. Hmm. We could do some ferns. I love the ferns. All right, let's look at the bigger picture. Oh my gosh, yes. We started out like not figuring out what the layout is. But I am so happy with the way this is looking so far. Now I wanted to try something. I'm not sure it'll work. Let's just try it. I did this for um, Prince Eric's castle. <clears throat> I made like, um. a path with this rug. Oh, it's not, like off center. Why won't it let me grab the rug? Come on, Disney. I'm gonna have to exit out of furniture mode. And save. Doing it again. I kind of like the rug, honestly. I know it's like not like completely centered, but we could probably, I think it looks good. Uh-oh, it's not even letting me pick it up or move it. It might be one of the glitched items. So it's not centered, but we can't really like tell. Especially in the dream snap, we won't be able to tell. So now I think we just kind of work on decorating the other areas. Just I'm just gonna keep it simple because like this area is like the main area. Man, this must be a glitched item, but I really like the way that this rug looks in, like, as, like, the road. Like, once, like, they fix it, I can just, like, basically make it symmetrical, move the fountain over, like, a little smidge. And we should be fine. Okay, let's work small here. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just gonna do like foliage and stuff and um, maybe like some flowers here and there. Did 
to finish our build. I kind of like how this area is a bit open, but I do want like some fencing over here. And maybe we'll throw a bush in right here. Okay. Donald's little entrance to his home. I can do like a little boardwalk here. I say we do this, like a cute little thing like that. Hmm. Just keeping that kind of simple. And then maybe like a flower bush. Over here. I don't want to do too much here because I want to still be able to fish. So I'm just going to put down like a bush here and there. Maybe like a butterfly flower or something. Are we going to put the grass down? Okay. So I don't think we're going to actually have room to put anything like next to the castle and the balloon. I might want to move this over a bit, though. Maybe we could put, like, a little sitting area back here. Let me catch up on chat. Oh, I love the fountain, too. Yeah, we're making, like, a little Toontown type of um, vibe. Game Loft, not Disney, but yes, they do such a good job creating everything. Well, yeah, it's Game Loft and Disney. Sometimes drift in a controller can be caused by static. You could try blowing some compressed air in the gaps underneath the joysticks and see if that helps. Thanks, Henry. That's such a good idea. Thank you. Okay. Let's try more foliage. That works. Oh yeah, you can actually put stuff near this. I thought for sure you wouldn't be able to. Okay, that changes things. So we're actually gonna decorate back here then. I'm just gonna keep it simple back here. Like maybe put it um, a bench and some flowers. Uh, what would be cute here? 
is this. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. All right, for here, I would like to do more flowers. And we're going to do the pink ones. Because they match. The finishing touches. Oh, I forgot that mining note is there. So we do have to move this a little bit. And we can walk through there and still hit it. And then I'll just put a bush right here. Let's change it up. For back here, I think we just take... I'm going to take this out. And I think we put like, um, I wonder if that plaza tree will fit here at all. Yeah. We just put one in the middle here. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. And then I'm gonna put I think we could probably put some fencing here to make it to give it like a finished look. Please tell me this fits. It does, yay, okay. We might be able to fit another one here too. Great. Okay, that looks more finished. <clears throat> one thing I'm not liking is just how like, this is like boring right here. We need to like add something else here. So what if we did, let's go to our dream snaps. <clears throat> oh, that's too much. I don't really think that really works either. Huh. How about just some, like, quirky items? Items that I probably wouldn't really use ever. Not that one. Don't we have like other? I thought, yeah, the wagon. That's what I was looking for. I like the wagon. What else? I thought there was like another rocket ship, like Stitches rocket ship or something. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that definitely, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch these around though. That filled this area in a bit better. All right, we got to do this section now, but I want to see what chat's saying. How would you do cottage core spring with the haunted mansion? That is actually a really great question. Maybe I would have to try it. I don't know. 
Maybe eventually I'll get to that because I know that uh, the Haunted Mansion just dropped. I'm not sure if I would keep it in my valley. Maybe if I like it, but I've thought about doing that. I would have to like start the build and then like figure it out from there. I think we need more um, benches. Actually, let's do fencing first. Kind of awkward, but that's okay. Let's do some purple back here. Keep it simple. I think we're done. I could add fencing back here. There's something in the way, apparently. Never mind. Maybe we can move it lower. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like awkward. I'm just going to remove it and put some. When in doubt, fill with the bushes. Oh, you can't. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's um, let's run around our build and see how we like it. Well, first let's do this angle. Yes, this looks so cute. All right, let's see if we can submit our dream snap. Let me save again, just in case. And we're gonna need Mickey for our dream snap. Oh, we should put some food on the table. Do I have any food? Let me go to my house really quick. Let's just right over here. Get some food. You got to add the small details. Um, where is my storage room for food? Is it this one? Yeah, I want to work. I think I might stream later and work on um, my storage rooms because they really need to get done. <laughs> like, it's like bad. So I think the cotton candy would be cute and the popcorn. And do we have a drink? Like a root beer? That would be cute too. Um, What else? Peanuts? Yeah, I have some ideas um, for my storage. I'm actually, I actually made indoor storage just to try it out, and I'm actually liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Oh yeah, really quickly. I I know I just like left, but 
figured you guys might want to see the finished library look from last stream. I still need to post this on Instagram. Okay, let's drop our food. That's kind of big. Maybe we can put this somewhere else. Like right there. Popcorn. Cute. All right. Mickey, you knew. You knew that I needed you. Come hang out. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. I'm excited for this. I hope we I hope we get a good score. So let's play around with this a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is like... Oh gosh, the camera angle is being weird. All right, I need to move back a little bit, I think. Well, can you come over here, Mickey? Come on. Good job. Okay, listen. Don't take on too much. We're here for you. I kind of like it with, like, the food in the picture. I don't know what angle to do here. Or should I just do it more up close? Why does it keep doing that? I'm getting super annoyed. It just keeps going, snapping back. Because I wanted to, like, kind of get... this view in. What should we do? I got my bunny. I don't know what to do. Um, I feel like, like, can't, he, he needs like a different pose. I don't really want Mirabelle in there. Maybe we could wait and see if like any other people show up. Oh, I'm so glad you like the library. Wait, yeah, no, you can do that on controller too. You like with the food. But then like the issue is like you can't really see a lot of the build. So on controller, get to this, you know, picture mode. And like, you see, I have the blurred background. If you want to get rid of the blurred background, all you do, like if you're on Xbox, you hit Y and it turns around and then you can use your controller. In this case, I'm using the mouse, but you can use your controller to change the angle. Okay, everyone's here. We got Vanessa. Look at Gaston. He's coming. Let's see if everyone shows up. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, not Maui. No, the one person that could ruin the picture. <laughs> Thank you for not staying, Maui. Why are they all like, they're all like in like the same area. Okay, Jack, you can leave. I'm not mad about it. I kind of want to turn Maui off. I think I turned everyone back on. Let's just turn everyone off except for the people we want. Oh, th they are. Okay, he's on. I wouldn't mind Merlin. Mm, I don't think Eve fits here. Gaston's okay, Minnie. We turn Scrooge on. I don't mind Fairy Godmother. We could put Stitch on. Mike and Sully. Okay. Like, I just don't like that everyone's bunched up over here. Like, where's Goofy? <gasps> Look at Wally. Oh my goodness, you are such, you're the cutest thing ever. You are so cute, but you're sitting backwards. Why are you sitting backwards? I would love Mickey to sit with me, but you can't take a dream snap like that. They really need to work on that. Hey, Rad, welcome in. Get him out of there. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it doesn't work, though. Like, I will, I'll turn it, like, off and on, and it just doesn't work. But I'm, like, kind of mad that, like, Mickey is, like, can you, like, move this way a little bit, man? My man. Let's try this again. I mean, do we just do like a big like view like this or do we do we do it up close? Like I heard that like up close ones are like better. Like this could be cute. I turned Maui off, but he's still here. I kind of just want one with Mickey. Like we don't need all those people with us. And I know everyone like gravitates towards like the new areas that you make. But I literally have these people turned off. I don't mind Woody or Merlin or Gaston. But like, let's turn Sully off. He's kind of big too. Will it reset if I like go back to my valley really quick? I'm going to try it. I'm going to go back to my main valley and see if, like, these people, like, disappear from here. Uh, we'll just go to the plaza. All right, let's wait a second, and then we'll go back. Because that means, are they, are they here? Yo, I turned you off. Why are you out here? I didn't. Okay, so maybe it just, like, reflects, like, who you have turned on in the valley or something. I'm just going to turn people off. I, Vanellope is cute, but I don't like when she's, like, yelling at me. Oops, I did not mean to turn him back on. See, my controller, the drift, I'm just going to use my mouse. Oh my gosh, Rod, you didn't have to do that. Thank you for the super chat. You're the best, Rod. We don't want the forgotten. I don't really want Ursula there. I want it to be like the OG characters, really. I don't mind these people, though. We could put Belle in there. Okay. Let's try again. I've seen, like, some super, um, 
Where do I have to go? Lagoon. Um, I've seen some super creative dream snaps where like these people must have like waited like hours to get like the perfect shot. That would be so cool if we could just like position our characters however we wanted to. Goofy's here. <gasps> oh, this is good. This is good. We can do this. We can do it. Oh, Mickey, you have to come this way. Come over here. It's like Animal Crossing where you just kind of like push them. You know what I mean? All right, let's try this again. No, Goofy, come back. I kind of want to move this. Hang on. This is just getting in our way. Should be good now. Should I get like a monkey or something? Let's see. That'd be cute to have like the little jester monkey. Cause it's like a theme park, you know? Okay. Okay, we got Mike here now. No, it's being weird again. Okay, please work, please. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna have to move back a little bit. Why does it keep doing that? What is what is here that is in the way? Is it the tree? Because I'm going to move the tree. Normally, if the tree is in the way, that's why it does that. But it could be this right here, too, unfortunately. All right. Get back over there. All right, I think this is it. Oh no, Mickey's like kind of like not, he's like not, we need to move him. Gosh, that was such a perfect shot too. But now we have like a bunch of people here. <gasps> want to make sure that we get a good view of the Ferris wheel and stuff. I want to do be waving. Okay. Okay, we we have a lot. I don't know, is this the angle? Is this what we do? Oh, Merlin, I would love to have Merlin in this picture. Get Jack out of it. This is kind of a cool angle. I 
I don't know. What do you guys think, chat? There's a lot going on here. I don't really want Jack here, though. Or Scar. They're both turned off. Oh, look at Guest. <laughs> this is the one. This is definitely the one. It has to be. Look at Guest. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, well, here's the dream snap. Okay, and here is, I'll just do a walkthrough of our theme park, our new theme park in on Eternity Isle. So we have like the little ice cream picnic area. And then we have our fountain. <laughs> with amazing decor. I love how we decorated the fountain. We have minis, the lap canisters, and this thing. And then we have Mickey and Goofy's house. And then we have um, the Hollywood, Tower of Terror. We have the castle back here. We have the cute little up balloon. This area turned out really cute. And then we have our Ferris wheel. Teacup ride, just a cute little sitting area over here. Didn't really do much. Um, if we go back here. We have Donald's house with a swan and like a little arcade area. That was that was actually like really cute. I wonder if I shouldn't do like a up, up close one like this. I didn't save that last one, but It just like it for some reason this specific area I just I got I guess I have bad luck. It just doesn't want me to have like a good picture here. No, I think I like the other one better. Cause we can't even really get up close because it's not letting me. But yeah. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me today and creating our really cute theme park. Oh, yeah, let's show this angle with the house or the house. <laughs> Technically, it's a boathouse, but I love having this in the view. It just definitely gives me um, theme park vibes. But yeah, thank you all for coming to stream. I think I'm going to take a break now, but I do plan on streaming later and I want to finish my storage. Um, I need to do three storage rooms, so maybe I'll stream later on tonight or maybe I'll stream tomorrow. But yeah, thank you all for being here and I hope that you all have a lovely rest of your day, okay? Bye, friends.